Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Kitta number 468094, 25-foot, three-story um, escape ladder. This may be known as the KL-35 as well in their installation or their instructions for use. It does indicate that part number as well. Before we look at the ladder a little bit more closely, here's just simply what the box looks like. Okay. Now there are the there are the installation instructions are linked to down below. And we'll just touch on it quickly and then look at the ladder. Fully a third of the document um, gives important common sense details as to how to use this unit, such as it is for one time use only. If you deploy the ladder, in an emergency, you don't use it again. Um, it's not apparently meant to be used repeatedly. The ladder is only to be deployed in an emergency, and if it's deployed, it needs to be replaced. Uh, the ladder itself is meant and assembled to come once deployed correctly in that, in that emergency condition so that it properly deploys itself. Um, it's not to be meant. It's not meant to be the exclusive means of egress uh, to a building, but is meant to also augment the ability to uh, egress in an emergency situation. They do state that the ladder, under its intended use, may damage, scratch, or otherwise, um, you know, possibly uh, compromise the integrity of windows and glass and the trim that surrounds it, etc. They do recommend replacing the ladder every 15 years um, regardless. The manufacturer date is listed down on the bottom rung, which we'll take a look at in a moment. Don't store it in direct sunlight or at elevated temperatures and do not exceed 1,000 cumulative pounds on the ladder. Uh, they do indicate that it's not a toy and should not be used as such. Uh, then they give conditions for use of this ladder. They show how the top handle is to straddle the uh, window sill, the jam of the of the wall construction. The installation, the instructions for use: close the door to the bath, uh, <laughs> close the door to the room before attempting to exit. Before opening a window, you do not want to provide additional sources of air to fuel uh, the ongoing fire. You don't want to intensify the fire, as they say. Open the attachment hooks and extend the center support. We'll show you that. Place hooks over the window with the ladder hanging on the outside of the structure. The white end is on the inside. The red side is on the exterior. Pull release strap to deploy the ladder. Only do so in the event of actually using the ladder in an emergency. Carefully exit the window onto the ladder, holding the attachment hooks to provide stability. Keep your body close to the ladder so as to maximize stability. Only carry children when it's utterly necessary to do so. And, uh, and avoid carrying anything else uh, on the ladder as well, if, if uh, um, it, at all. Uh, no pets, nothing else. Don't carry anything else. Don't carry anything. Children, if you can avoid it. In family escape, the parent should exit first to stabilize the ladder during the descent uh, of children or the elderly. Be careful to avoid breaking glass and adjacent, adjacent windows when descending the ladder. Store it outside of direct sunlight in a environment that's not excessively hot as indicated earlier. They have a five-year warranty. Planning for an emergency escape is to be done. You are to uh, plan, create a meeting space, execute uh, mentally exactly how the escape will go. So here we go. Weighs 12.3 pounds, at least it does uh, in its box. So that's the brace that they're asking that you pull apart. My shoulders are going to be the window or the window sill. And this is all the red portion is the exterior side. Just going to get a handle on this. That's your cross section. 
the deployment instructions are listed on the rung assembly itself. I suppose you can pause this video if you'd like to study that. Looks like about 19 rungs. I counted them, and it does appear to be about that. They indicate that that date of manufacture is indeed on the bottom rung. I don't see that anywhere, and I don't obviously can't deploy it. It may be printed on the top rung, but the deployment's literally going to be pulling that strap, and those rungs are going to deploy. Okay. Now, let's take this contraption off. Now, we've got that taken off, and I was able to locate the date of manufacture. It is indeed on the bottom rung. So I'm going to go with October 2018. Okay, makes sense. It's probably about six years, six months prior to today's time frame. Now, so we've got the extended description information down below. In addition to the installation instructions, they're sold as each. They have they feature anti-slip rungs, attaches quickly to the window. It does. It will simply brace over as demonstrated earlier. Fully assembled and compact. Put it on the window. Pull the, velc pull the hook and loop tape strap and down go the rungs. Strong and lightweight, easy to use, tangle free design. 1,000 pound total weight with an overall length of 25 feet. Made of steel, we're gonna have some steel and some aluminum as well and obviously some nylon, okay? Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all the kit of products that we sell but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog they do have a shorter version. Uh, it's 13 foot overall length. That part number ends in 093 is what that part number is. And that you can review as, uh, there as well, um, et cetera. Any questions on the Kitta? This is their 25 foot, I guess it's gonna be their KL-35 model, three story, 25 foot. Fire Escape Emergency Ladder or any other kit of product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.